particular lesion called as intertrigo. Okay, so allergic candidiasis which may be or, uh, uh, resulting from various allergens are produced by uh, candida. So these are the various form of uh, clinical uh, manifestation. The invasive uh, manifestation we will be discussing the the lab diagnosis of which the the cutaneous and mucocutaneous uh, candidiasis we will discuss under skin and soft tissue infection. Okay. So now we'll move on to the laboratory diagnosis of candidiasis. Candidiasis, the specimen will be widespread. This particular session we are uh, we are focusing on septicemia due to a candida and the various invasive candidiasis. So for which the specimens will be blood culture. If it is a meningitis is suspected, then you can collect CSF. Osteomyelitis, you you suspect, then you collect bone specimen, uh, synovial fluid. Okay, so depending upon the site of infection, the specimens are collected. Okay, so uh, cutaneous and uh, mucocutaneous infection uh, uh, due to candida, you can collect. Uh, you can collect various specimens such as uh, vaginal discharge or maybe uh, esophageal specimens or maybe a uh, pharyngeal swabs. So these are the various specimens. So the next is you can do. For, you can go for a direct uh, microscopy. So direct uh, microscopy examination. If you do, you can see. Budding is cell with pseudohypha. So these are the pseudohypha and these are the budding is cell. Okay, so these uh, budding is cells are usually oval in shape and 4 to 6 uh, micron in uh, size, which differentiates it from another yeast which is called as cryptococcus. Cryptococcus usually the cells are round in nature not oval and the cells are a little bit of bigger in size around 8 to 10 micron in size whereas candida 4 to 6 micron and it is oval shaped and typically it it will have pseudohypha which will not be there in uh, cryptococcus so uh, uh, that is how you can uh, differentiate between the two most common yeast one is candida other one is uh, cryptococcus